All right, so I want to take a look at how easy it is to move from Illustrator directly into Flash. So the, your best bet is to lay out an Illustrator project and organize your Illustrator project into layers. So every object that you would like to animate, place it into its own layer. So my layers are here somewhere, probably right in front of me. Up oh, here they are. Great. So what you can see that I've done here is I have taken every one of these objects that I would like to animate and I have placed them on their own layer. So what I'm going to do next after I have done that is I'm going to come on into Flash and I'm going to create a new project. So I come on in, File, New, and I'm going to do Action Script 3.0. I'm not going to worry so much about the size of my stage. I'm going to hit OK. Now what I want to do next is I want to import my Illustrator file. So I come on over, I come to File, Import to Stage. I want to import it to the stage. And I could also import it to the library if I'd like to. It will all show up in the library. And then I have placed this onto my desktop. So I come to my desktop and mine is named the love.ai qrst here it is and it is the native illustrator file i hit open i get my next screen which is going to give me a lot more info so you can see that you know i could i could bring all of these different pieces in as well but again i have found that the easiest thing really is um separating into layers it just keeps my thinking clear. Now, what I want to do with each one of these layers is I want to create a movie clip. And I could give it a name if I wanted to. So I could say this one is the question mark. Okay. Uh, but what else you could do is you could do more than one at a time. So I could hold down shift and select all of these guys. And I could even change the name of them when they come on into the library. Then I could say create a movie clip. Oh, and what I want to do to uh, place objects at original position and I want to set the stage to the same size as my illustrator board. That's exactly what we want to do. So we're going to say OK. And then what we see is it brings it all in. And what's really awesome about doing it this way, it brings in all of my layers with the names that I had for my layers. If I come on in and take a look at my library, I can click this down and I can see within here, I have my little different movie clips. They're all in their own little folders. And, you know, working with these folders in a way, it really does help keep things a little bit more organized, um, which, is, which is always a good thing. All right, so here goes. Now, I want to come about animating this. So how would I do that? Well, I could begin, you know, first, just going on out to 180, just because I'm doing so. And I'm going to begin by inserting my frames. Insert timeline frames. All right, great. Now, first thing I want to do is I'm going to start with the background. So I'm going to turn all of the, these off, just so I can see it, just for the ease of being able to see it. You know, maybe I'll just leave the background as it is. So I'm actually going to start with the dots, okay? Maybe I don't want the dots to appear until later. All right, first thing I could do, though, is I could have the dots um, fade in. So first thing I want to do is I want to insert a motion tween, insert motion tween, and uh, maybe what I want to do is begin, go to window, come on into the properties, uh, click onto this, go on in to the alpha channel, okay, uh, lower it down to zero, come on out to 20. Every time I want to change something, I insert a keyframe, insert timeline keyframe. I can click onto here again. I could turn my alpha up to 50, about there. It's not exact, that's okay. I could come on down to frame 40, now I know what frame I'm at because when I look at my timeline, it will tell me right down in here, I am at frame 40. So I can come on in, I can insert a keyframe. Now watch this, so if I don't insert a keyframe and I'm on that frame and I just change it, a keyframe automatically comes. All right, so now I have my first animation. Now maybe I want to introduce where right about here. 
Well, if I want to do that, you know, I could actually just grab this dot here, this keyframe. Okay, whenever we see um, the circle with the black, that means that, okay, there is an actor present, there is an object present. Now take a look at this one. This is a blank keyframe. See, there's nothing there. So I've just moved this over. Um, and if I wanted to, um, so that's, I could move that right here. Now maybe what I want to do with this one is introduce something different. Maybe I want to, you know, introduce a motion tween or whatever, let's say. So maybe I'll take this actor and I need to grab my tools, grab my black um, tool and uh, maybe I want to bounce it in. Who knows? I can even do a motion preset. So come on in to motion presets and I could go to my default presets and I could say um, which one did I want to use here? Alright, so and you can always medium bounce. I don't want to bounce it. Maybe I want to do a text scroll, a wave, Zoom in, 2D, but that's always a good one, right? All right, so let's do that. So I'm going to bring it right into here, and then I could I could choose that um, by just coming on in to the motion presets and double clicking it. So one more time, motion presets, zoom in, 2D. I hit apply, and now we can see we have this one. Where? Okay. Now, what I want to do, though, too, is I want to extend this out, okay? Um, so what we want to do, we want this to continue here. We don't want it to disappear. So what we want to do is we want to insert the frame. So I can click right into there, insert timeline. Okay, now I've extended my frames, okay? Because what happened before that was that this where was not there. All right, so there we have it where. Okay, now I could go on. I'm just going to do the next one so you can have a sense. I want to introduce is in the next section. I can take this little guy right here. I can pull it maybe. I want this to have like maybe two frames just there. Now one thing we want to think about is that every 24 frames is a second. And that's set right here, 24 frames per second. Now you can change that if you'd like to, but that's the standard what it comes with. So we come with is. Hey, maybe I want to do the same thing with is. So I can come on in, open up my motion presets window, motion presets, where are you motion presets? Okay, and again, I can zoom in 2D. All right, now again, just so we take a look, see the same thing happen. Here comes is, and then it's not there, and that's because these frames are blank. So what I need to do is come on into this ending thing and insert the frame, insert timeline frame. Okay, so now it's extended. Now let's just take a little peek and watch this movie. So I can come on into control and I can test the movie. Test. Okay, now the love are there because they are, let's take a look at that. It almost doesn't look like, um, there we go, it's fading in. All right, so let's take a, a little bit of a closer look at this, and I'm going to do a couple more changes, and then maybe we'll, um, we'll take a minute. So we come on in, into this frame, hmm. and actually at the very beginning, we want to change this around a little bit. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm thinking, huh. All right, so what I could do is take these guys and move these guys over so they appear at the very end. Let me turn these guys on. All right, so if I click, hold down shift and click, click, click. I can then come and drag these keyframes over because I don't want them to present until about here. Okay. Um, so now what happens, we'll see, we come on at the very beginning. Now it has more of a feel of what we wanted to happen, but we didn't animate these other lines right in here. All right, I'm going to open up another one because I've worked on this a little bit more and just to show you um, some of the other things that we can do. There's so many different approaches to this. This one is this one right here. So I'll open this guy up. All right, and this is the same, the same movie. Okay, well, same movie, different. But I've done a, a little bit differently here. I don't think it's all the way done. 
but we can kind of get a sense of what's going on here. Um, so let's actually export it and see what we have. We can go control, test movie. How you animate this, it's all, the only limit is your imagination. So we come on in. Okay. Now, of course, it needs a little bit more time, a little bit more work, and we can see that it's actually looping. It ends there. Um, actually, it doesn't. It, it ends there because actually I put a stop in it. All right, so there's an idea of how to get started. Neither one of the projects that I just showed you is complete. But again, the goal of this video is really to show you how you can start in Illustrator, bring all of your uh, layers in as objects, and animate them. So thanks for listening.